you know, I see a lot of filmmakers, they do perks all wrong, you know, and there's, there's, there's two approaches to it. You know, you can try to do, you know, like low cost, like very low cost perks. And mm -hmm. if you do that, if you have a low goal, it, it can work. Like I, you know, there's some horror filmmakers I know on my friends list that like do serial crowdfunders and they raise two or $3,000 per you know, and they, and they usually make their goals, but they, you know, they're making, you know, very small movies, you know, their perks are all like, you know, 10 and $20, you know, but if you value, if you set, if you're trying to raise more than that, you're not going to get there on 10 and $20 perks, you know, like you have to give, it's, it's like uh, when we were talking earlier about being afraid to ask for money, you also can't be afraid to, to vow, to put a value on what you're giving them. So, you know, like if you're doing physical perks on a crowdfunder, you cannot sell Blu-rays for $25 and make a profit to make your movie. You know, like the the costs, the shipping costs, the manufacturing costs, the labor costs, the time, it is not, it's not worth it. Like you have to basically overprice those, you know? So like if you're going to do, if you're going to make a go of doing physical perks, like, you know, I'm on Craving, we charged, uh, it was like $68 for the Blu-rays, but you know what? We sold over a hundred friggin' Blu-rays and it's, it's going to be an awesome Blu-ray. It'll be super packaged. But at the end of the day, filmmakers got to wrap their mind around a crowdfunder. It's not Walmart. You know, you're not looking for the best deal. You know, you're trying to support the movie and you know, the higher end, if you have higher end perks, you're going to raise more money. You know, if, if you walk the walk, you know, not just, yeah, you know, I, and I think, would you say that, is it as easy to, is it as hard to ask for big money from less people than it, is it harder to ask for big money from less people than it is more, less money from more people? I, I think it's easier to, in, in my particular case, we had, we had pricey perks. You know, our Blu-ray was 80 bucks. We did, uh, you know, on producer perks, our, you know, co-producer was like 2000. Our associate was like 400 or 300. Our uh, executive was 5000. And we, we sold probably, probably 40% of the, you know, 70 grand we raised was through those credits, you know, the high, the high end perks. So, yeah, I mean, and just think about it. I mean, if you can, if you can get one person to purchase a $2,000 perk, you know, how many was that divided by 20, you know, how many $20 perks is that? To right. get to 200. 2, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Or exactly. 100. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And, right. and yeah. like our, our campaign had a total total of like, I don't know, 530 supporters, you know, but predominantly the bulk of the money came from the big ticket ones. The big thing I learned from it is that the, the lower, you know, priced items, like they, they, they amounted to a very low percent of the overall money we raised, you know? So I'm not saying I wouldn't add any of those things on another campaign, but I wouldn't put quite as much energy into them. I, I would yeah. put more energy into the higher, the higher end things. And the, and the other thing I think is important for filmmakers to remember is not everybody out there is, is you or in your, you know, socioeconomic background. So most filmmakers have this thing where they, they feel like everybody's like them. So if you're broke and struggling, you think everybody's broke and struggling, but there is a huge contingent of people on Indiegogo and Kickstarter that are, you know, they're older, they're retired, they have money, you know, and they want to play in the in the movie business they want the you know they want to be actors if, if that's what you want to do or they want to be producers or you know and they you know there's people like that that'll they'll chunk down five thousand dollars to be an executive producer on a on a movie that looks cool you know that they that they think is actually going to get finished you know and i think that's another reason my my campaign was successful i'm you know i'm not somebody out there saying hey support my movie and i've never made any or i have like you know five or ten imdb credits and none of them are anywhere you can find them you know i have right you know i've produced over 70 features that are all out there you can find every single one of them you know and that i think that added some legitimacy to the campaign Thank you so much for your time. I'm Tremaine Hayho, and let's make some epic movies in 2023. Click the link below. See you at the movies. Proceed to like this video and subscribe to Hayho Studios.